Let's look at our spreadsheet here. On the left, we have a table with three rows. The first row is the type of item, that is beverage or food. The second row is the item and the third row is the price. So let's find the price of the first item in this table, which is latte. So we type in equal H lookup, open parenthesis. And the first parameter is search key, which is asking what do we want to look up or search for? Well, we want to search for latte, which is in this cell. So we reference this cell by clicking it. The second parameter is range, and it's asking where or in what range do we want to look for latte? Well, we want to search for it in this table. So suppose we select the range that is in this table, like this, from A1 to F3. The third parameter is index, and this is asking what is the row number in which the value is located. In the range of cells which we selected, from A1 to F3, let's count the row number for the price. Well, the price is in row number one, two, three, row number three. So the price is in the third column in the range we selected. So we put the number three here. And finally, the fourth parameter is, is sorted. So do we want an exact match? Yes, we do. So we type in false. We close the parenthesis, press enter. Notice we get an error, hashtag NA. There is a comment which says, did not find value latte in each lookup evaluation. So why did we get this error? Let's click inside the formula and look at it. Notice that the entire table from A1 to F13 is highlighted. Latte is in the second row in our lookup table. Now recall, each lookup works if the lookup value is in the first row of the range. So to fix this, we must change our formula to the range which includes the lookup value in the first row. So let's fix it. So to fix this, we must change our formula to the range that includes the lookup value in the first row. So if we delete this and type in equal H lookup, open parenthesis, recall our first parameter is what we want to look up, which is latte. The second parameter is where we want to look for it. So we are going to choose this range where latte is in the first row, which is the range A2 to F3. And then in this range that we search for, the third parameter is the index. What is the row number? So the row number is one, two, is row number two. And our fourth parameter is if we want an exact match or not. And we actually want an exact match. So we type in false, close the parenthesis. We've got 299, which is the value in the table. So therefore, ensure that your lookup values are in the first row of your range. Hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this and hit the bell to get notifications of the latest videos out. See you in the next video.